Hi guys, Flav here. Welcome to TechBeatPH.com and we have something different for you today. Today we're at the National Museum for Natural History here in Manila for the LG OLED WTV event. So it's a spectacular area, spectacular museum. So it's going to be a heck of an event. So do stick around the video and see what's in store for us. celebrating a donation that LG has made to the National Museum. So to tell you more about this donation, please give a round of applause for the Managing Director of LG Philippines, Mr. Ng Won Ha. and uh, to our special guest. I am very delighted to be here this afternoon, surrounded by the beautiful architecture of the National Museum of National History. One of the newest centers for education and uh, information in the Philippines. At LG, we value education for the next generation, which is why we always try to do our best to promote it in our own little way. This year marks the 30th anniversary of LG Philippines. As a part of our celebration, we are donating two OLED televisions and one UHD television to the National Museum. We hope they can use these televisions to inform and educate the public of your country's beautiful flora and fauna. We have also helped produce a video for the museum that shows of the beauty of underwater life in, in the Philippines. And we hope we advance some marine protection in the country. Again, I would like to thank Director Barnes for having us here and for giving us a chance to donate to the premier public museum institution in the country. Thanks and good episode. Thank you. So the photos that I've shot are uh, photographed in resolutions that are higher than 4K. So sometimes they're at 5K because it's a DSLR, a DSLR camera. Anyway, so this photo was taken in 2015. Huh? It was uh, in Mona Chol and Malapaspa. That's a fresher shark with two divers. So it generated a lot of discussion, especially when it was featured in National Geographic because people aren't used to seeing sharks and people in such close proximity in a very non-threatening situation. So I took it upon myself to comment on all the questions for that photo and I realized that that's the job of a photographer is to start a dialogue with these guys. Next would be a close-up of the Thresher Shark. So here, this photo was taken at uh, 100, probably more than 100 feet deep at 5 a.m. So, and, and strobes weren't allowed in modern show because, uh, because of the eyes of the shark. And if you bump your ISO to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, obviously there will be noise. And while I was able to tape that a bit in post, the TV does it pushes it a little further by managing the noise. So hence, this is the noise reduction in action.
myself. And funny enough, my very first checkout dive was in Bohol. Really? Yes, wow. and it was just spectacular. It was like seeing jewels underneath the water. It's a and, place, yeah. and the light that you have. Yes. Um, you know, my husband always says that the best camera you have is in your head. Correct. But apparently you were able to capture it. <laughs> yeah, so we, we shot it in 4K also, so to take advantage of the features of the TV, it was in 4K. Uh, one thing that we had a bit of a challenge with was it was very silky underwater. Yes. But even if it was, it was very clear, so I guess that's one thing that we can also add to the TV.